We all tend to take pictures with our smartphones but what happens is that we still desire to produce beautiful looking images in our mobile devices without using desktop photo editing software. Lucky enough, the apps built into our handsets have the ability to do so but though not 100% as you may wish. So for those curious out there looking for photo editing apps that can wow your Instagram or any other social media followers, here are my picks for the best photo editing apps you can download and use them all in the convenience of your handsets. The first app which personally suits me for editing requirements is Snapseed. It's a photo editing app made by Google that's absolutely free and it is quite surprising how many features this app offers despite it being totally free. One of the most captivating tools which I love about this app and also have done a review of, you can check the video down in the description, is head pose that basically changes the symmetry of various parts of your face, perspective that lets you adjust images with distortions, color curves which I absolutely enjoy using and also this being one of the apps that has built in tutorials on how to edit various elements. What I don't like about this is that it has limited text editing tools and it is not possible to lay two pictures at once unless you're using the blending mode. But nonetheless, I think Google did a great job with the implementation of this app. So PixArt is my second alternative in terms of editing pictures with a wide variety of effects. If you want to add some artistic effects, even magical effects that make your images too much, hand-drawn paintings or animations, they are artistic features, they are colorization tools, color gradients, light trails, bokeh, patterns, lens flares, well, this is the app that you're looking for. Furthermore, it even allows one to stack more than two images on top of each other. It also has stickers, a built-in beauty mode and not forgetting this app has a large collection of filters. Yes, some effects need you to pay and also remove the built-in ads that come with the free version but for only $29 per year, I think it's a fair amount of money for the vast features it has. It almost has every effect I need for editing my photos. If you're looking for a photo editing app that is very simple to use and offers so much functionality for its form factor, Visco is probably what you're looking for. It has basic adjustments, the featured ones being skin tone adjustment and also the split tone for various colors of your image. It also supports editing of raw images which is sick. It has very premium looking filters but sadly you'll have to pay for some of them including some of the features like HSL and even picture borders. In addition, the Visco membership has interesting features, some being able to access over 130 presets, receiving creative weekly challenges, there is the option also for video editing, there is also dedicated camera profiles and tips and tricks provided in the app for just $19 per year. To conclude, let's not forget that this has a built-in camera app to take pictures in Pro Mode, a feature which I am sure most iPhone users will come to appreciate. For those who want to edit collages or even square Instagram photos, PhotoGrid is by far the most popular app that most people are using and will always tend to use and I understand why. First of all, if you're wondering where most memes are created, I think you're in the right place. It also has some cool other features, you can pause this video to have a look, but essentially this app has other convenient features like creating a scrapbook out of your photos and creating photo grids out of multiple images. Additionally, you can also edit videos in square frame but only up to 30 seconds and not in full HD. There are built-in stickers, there's also a focus tool and retouch tool which have some really interesting features. Of course, there's a premium version of up to 1000 elements and it also has full HD video support for up to 1 minute long and also getting rid of the photo grid watermark for only $29 per year. It is right to say that social media owners will not be disappointed 
with using this app. Nitrix is a photo editing suit that has more than 5 apps dedicated to photo and video and there is so much you can do with such apps to be quite frank, sometimes it even seems overwhelming to use them. Enlight QuickShot is more or less like PixArt but there is an interesting feature called Premers to match the color of your photo with landscapes and also sky to kind of blend your photos with the sky. Another app worth mentioning is PhotoFox which almost matches Snapseed but with little effects lifted from PixArt for example the glitch, blur and the lights effects. Next is Pixaloop that beats lives into photos and last but not least Enlight which combines the features of these other apps into one at a price of only $4. So those are my picks, but honorable mention goes to Darkroom app which matches Adobe Lightroom in very many aspects together with the elements and filters. But it is one of the most expensive apps if you want to have all these features at once. But at least you're making a down payment so it isn't a bummer for those people who are worried about paying monthly. It has an extensive base toolkit. It has raw photo editing and it also supports batch processing and export. And our final honorable pick is the Adobe Suite. We are all familiar with these apps, they are very good apps, you should definitely check them out. And that wraps up my top 5 picks, I hope you enjoyed this video, links to the apps will be found in the description section below. Now these are my own preferences, let me hear what other photo editing apps you could recommend down in the comments section below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope you like it and subscribe, I've been your host Maxwell.